Here is question number two on linear systems and it is very similar to what we did in question number one. So the whole idea is for you to understand how to solve such questions, right? That is why I'm giving you this practice. Question number two is, in which quadrant will the following pair of lines intersect? And I'd like you to answer this question even without sketching, but giving a reason. So A is y equals to minus x plus 3 and y equals to 5. So these are two lines which will intersect since their slopes are different. Now you have to find in which quadrant. Part B is y equals to 2x plus 1 and y equals to 3x minus 2. Will these intersect? Yes, they will. Slopes are different. This line is steeper. Now, you know the trick. I'd like you to write down the answer, then graph and check it. Correct? Do it. Stop the video for the time being and then look into my suggestion. Here is how I will do it. Y equals to 5. This is a horizontal line. Correct? It is a horizontal line which just moves from quadrant 2 to 1. And y equals to minus x plus 3 is down, going down because of minus slope. And the y-intercept is plus 3. So y-intercept is below this line. Correct? So this is a horizontal line. The other one starts below the line and is going down. So there is no question of their intersecting in quadrant 1. They will intersect in quadrant 2. Correct? So that's the answer. And here is kind of check for this. So we will draw this in one color. So y equals to 5 is like this, correct? That is y equals to 5. And minus x plus 3 is a line which will go like this, where this is 3 and negative slope. You see, it intersects in quadrant 2, right? Now, how about the other set of lines? Both have positive slope, correct? Both have positive slope. One intercept, the one which is at 1 is less steeper. That is less steeper. So, I will draw a line like this. So, this is, let's say y equals to 2x plus 1. And the other one, which is having a slope here, right, minus 2, is more steeper. So, it will go up and it will catch up. Do you see? So it will intersect in quadrant 1. So this answer is quadrant 1. Remember your quadrants start from here. Going counterclockwise 1, 2, 3 and 4. I hope this time it was easier for you to answer even without graphing and graphing made a lot more sense. So that is why we have set up 10 questions for you to understand the concept. Let's move on to question number three. Thank you.